Hey Flourish fam, what's up? It's your girl Genevieve. I'm back with another video. Today I'm trying out the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm going to chit chat, do a quick makeup beat for you and talk about this foundation. So if you've been thinking about buying it or you just missed me and you're happy to see me, go ahead stay tuned. Watch this beat. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, you see that subscribe button down there. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, and then let's talk about this stars foundation. Okay, so I know this video is really, really over overdue. I bought this like two weeks ago from Sephora. I bought it like when it first came out, when it was first available. It wasn't in the store, so I didn't know how to pick my shade. You know, I usually go to the store to get foundation, but NAR really can do no wrong, especially when it comes to brown skin women. I used NARS Trinidad in their previous foundation. That was one of my very first foundations when I first started doing my makeup. And when I heard about this coming out and the range of shades, I was like, okay, you know, let me try it. So based on the chart, I went with the color Macau. Macau, I don't know how you say it. Like my phonics is not the best and I used to be a high school English teacher, but it's medium slash dark four. And so this is the, you know, packaging it came in. I opened it just to look at it and swatch it when it first came in, but I have not done makeup with it yet. So I was waiting to do that with you. So let's see, it's NARS. The black and white packaging is pretty much the same. It's a natural radiant longwear foundation. So we open it up and at the top it says make sure that you shake well. And here's the foundation right here. So, so let's look at the claims. On the website it says it's NARS first 16 hour foundation that stays turned on by the power of radiance. It's untraceable, unstoppable, unlike anything else. Lightweight, supernatural, high coverage. So it's saying it's a full coverage foundation. It's infused with raspberry, apple, and watermelon extracts that help smooth and improve the look of your skin instantly and over time for full power radiance. It wears longer, it stays longer, and looks better with each hour. Specialized skin matching technology ensures your truest match yet. Ideal for a medium to full, it's a buildable, it's saying that it's buildable coverage. It's good for skin types, normal, combination, and oily. So I'm combination skin, um, and then also I kind of tend to go to medium full coverage, because as you can see, I have some scarring and stuff that, you know, I try to cover up. The finish is natural, radiant finish. It's transfer resistant, it's sweat resistant, fade resistant, non-drying, paraben, alcohol and oil, fragrance free, um, and that's about it. So it, it makes a lot of claims. Let's go ahead and see if the claims are true to form. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try it on. Just be clear, I already, I primed my face, I moisturized my face. So we're going to try it and I'm just going to try it with the beauty blender and see how it looks. And let's just watch this really quick on my hand. That's what it looks like on my hand. This is the swatch. And I'll compare that to my Fenty Beauty and I wear um, shade 420 in there. So definitely when I put it on, it's definitely like thicker than my Fenty. So if you look right here, this is the NARS. This is my Fenty 420. So NARS, Macau, Macai, and then the Fenty. So it's very similar. It just looks like it's a thicker consistency. And so I have a beauty blender. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. And I'm gonna do it like I always do. Like I'm just, I just put it on like this. Like, and it's buildable, so I do like, like this is like really how I put my makeup on. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. We'll do this side first. This is about three pumps. I think it actually matches me quite perfectly. But let's go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on. We'll see and I'll chit chat with you. So I'm gonna go in now with some concealer. And so I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown This is Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer in Almond. This has been my go-to concealer between this and Fenty since like the summer. Um, I'm just gonna put this on. And it, this is very full coverage. So, we're just gonna put this on. And so, What's been up, guys? I have been, the past few months, I opened a high school, so that is why I was not doing YouTube. Like, like literally founding a school. So, I've been like just super busy. But I'm happy to get back into the YouTube because it's like something that I really like doing and I wanna do better. This time let it sit for a little bit just to get a little thicker and then we're gonna just go in. But I had like my my mic that's supposed to be out of frame um, on like a boom stand and then I have a cord running into my computer so I'm just hoping that the sound it sounds okay so let me know what you think about the audio in my previous videos you know my audio was on my mic so it was, my mic was attached to my camera, but in my last video, in my last, the video before my last video, where I was talking about, I actually don't even remember what I was talking about, but there was a lot of like click, 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 because you could hear my camera focusing. And I was like, oh my gosh, that that's not good. So let me figure out like what to do. So, I got like a cord and I boomed my road mic. So hopefully I have it at a good place where the quality is as good as it should be. Um, yeah. And then when I use my 50 millimeter lens, when it auto focuses, it won't, the mic won't pick up that sound and you won't hear the click click in the video. All right. All right, so. That is, I got my foundation on and then my Bobbi Brown. 
that car. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have the Earth Stick Foundation. I'm just gonna use that as like my contour. Contour this five head that I have. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and with another trusty favorite, which is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And I'm going to set my contour. And what else have I been doing lately? I've really just been like consumed with work and then also kind of just this year thinking about my goals and thinking about everything I want to do. And one of the things that I'm definitely doing more is traveling. And so I told myself I'm going to, you know, travel somewhere once a month by myself. So I went to Washington DC this last weekend and you know next month I'm going to Florida and I'm taking a trip every month just because like I don't go out a lot you know I don't hang out and so this year it's really gonna be about travel for me and And mascara. I don't know where I got this from. It's like, it's called thick and fast. So it's thick and fast. So that's what I need right now. Highlighter now. And I think that we're gonna go with
Fenty Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule today. And like, I just. This has been like. Kind of my everyday highlighter. And yes, I am one of those girls that you know, highlight. You can never go wrong. You can never over highlight. That's how I feel. Alright, so I have um, Downtown Beauty by Nick. Radiant Longwear Foundation, like it feels light, it feels really light on my skin. It worked well with my Fenty Beauty primer, it worked well with my Bobbi Brown concealer, no complaints. And I think I got a perfect match for someone, like I didn't get matched in the store, I just kind of went off like what I knew from looking at the shades that they had in the range and then also thinking about in our foundation and the other foundations that I have. This, it matches. I mean, it looks good once I finish my makeup, once I did my highlighting, my contouring, my concealer. You know, NARS gets it right all the time. So, I give it two thumbs up and I think if you're in the market or in the market for a new foundation, go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. I would love, love, love to know what you think about it. Um, I like it. I think I'm gonna be using this because it feels weightless. That is one claim that they had that I really believe. It, it feels weightless to me. So, and I hate that feeling like when you just got a lot of makeup on your face and it just sometimes it gets gooky. It feels like too much. But this, it doesn't feel like anything. Just real quick with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Set that. I look like, like I'm looking into my viewfinder and before I put on the All Nighter setting spray, it looked like my and had like a little glow to it and even now it looks like it has a little glow to it um and so i'm wondering if like it that radiant like makes me look like i have a little glow like i'm a radiant so i'm liking that i think that's another claim that's true i don't know i like it i don't have any complaints shade i feel like it matches perfectly um, the consistency I liked, um, it dries quickly, it looks like, um, it wasn't hard to blend with the Beauty Blender, remember I did this with the Beauty Blender, I'll try it again with a foundation brush, I have this Real Techniques foundation brush that I'll try another day, um, I'm really liking it. So check it out and buy it. It's the NARS. It's NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I am in the color Medium Dark for the cow. The cow. The cow is my color. Um, so if you're like, and I wear 420 and Fenty, um, if you're looking for a comparison. 
So check it out. Let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments what you think. And you know I'm kind of like a complexion geek, so any complexion products, I want to try them out. So if you heard or tried a really dope product, complexion, foundation, concealer, highlighter, let me know in the comments below. Go check this NARS foundation out, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Um, you're my little flourish family. We are a family. I love you. I love you for watching. And I'll be back real soon with another video for you.